Jeremy Hazel here from 7 Season Studios, and this is an excerpt from our brand new course, The Complete Guide to Editing in Affinity Photos. So if you like what you see and you want 10 solid hours of what we've got here, go ahead, check out the link below for a special offer for our YouTube family. All right, let's go ahead and get with the learning. All right, folks, and welcome to Procreate. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite adjustments. And I thought what it was appropriate because it's kind of an advanced thing. And to start out with, until we got to this point, it's kind of a little bit difficult to understand. Let's go to adjustments, and I'm going to show you the selective color. Now, selective color as an app allows you to adjust the reds, the yellows, the greens, any of these colors pretty much. And let's click on the blacks here. And now black, because it's RGB, right, is made up of black, yellow, magenta, and cyan, right? So... I like to use this object to kind of mat out my blacks, and I also like to mess with some of the skin tones and such. As an example, this photo was shot really well, but we can change the entire look and feel of this photo using selective color. As an example, when it comes to the darks, if we add in some more cyan, you'll see that the hair begins to go a little bit blue. Now, just to prove my point, I'm at 48%. Watch this. Now, if I turn it off, the blue disappears. Turn it back on, reappears. Now, you'll see right down here along the cheeks, though, I am getting some bleed over from that. So what I might do is I might come back in with that, and I might drop that down just a little bit, maybe 22%. It still gives me the blue hue that I like, but it doesn't necessarily blurring that blue into these darks. Now, the other thing that I might do, I might drop the blacks just a little bit. I think that it's a little bit too dark for my taste. So you see, I just dropped it about 6%. And now, when you're doing this, if you're doing skin tones, I wanna show you how to do some really cool skin tone adjustment using selective color. Skin is made up of reds and yellows, right? So, with this red, if I come in here, watch what happens when I drop down the blues on the red. You see how her skin gets a lot more red? If I crank up the blues, I get a little bit more washed out, somber style of look. I can do the same thing with the yellows. I can increase the yellow to give it a little bit of a yellow tinge, or I can decrease the yellow and it changes the look. I'm going to go ahead and increase the yellow just a little. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to increase the magentas. Now you see the darker skin tone that's created. I can temper this by either lightening this up a little bit or I can darken it down. Now that's way too dark, right? But that might be your artistic preference. I'm going to lighten this up a little bit. And now I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to turn it back on. And I'm going to show you what's up. Before, after, before after you see how this is a completely different photo let's go ahead and add in some yellows now when it comes to the yellows i'm going to come in and i'm going to crank up the yellows a little bit now you see when we get a little bit too extreme there we add quite a bit of yellow to it but i am going to kick up some and i'm going to go ahead and just drop those down ever so slightly here i'm going to try the blue i kind of like that I think that that's pretty good. And now when it comes to just the yellows in the skin, I'm going to try to bring those in a little bit darker. That gives me a completely different effect that I'm actually quite happy with. Now, there's some colors that aren't in this palette, right? You're not going to get a lot of greens. You're not going to get a lot of blues. So if you made adjustments to the colors in which there's not a lot of, you see how I'm moving the blue slider and nothing's really happening? That is not where you want to use this tool. And then we can even adjust the whites a little bit. So if we come down here, we can reduce the reds inside of the white whites. And we can even reduce the whites inside of the yellow. I think that that is pretty good. Now, the one thing that you could play with, I don't use it a lot, is the neutrals. Now, subtle adjustments to the neutrals will change over the entire image for the most part. So like when I do blue, you see how this changes the entire vibe. It does a lot of adjustment. I don't do a lot with the neutrals 
So I will probably play with them a little bit. But I am not going to make any wild and crazy adjustments to these neutrals. I think that I've got it pretty much dialed in where I want it. Yep. All right. So that's a little bit on selective color. Before, notice how we have highlights. It was a good photo before. After, significantly different look, all using one adjustment. All right. That's a little bit on selective color. This is in your downloads for you to play with. So play around with selective color and we'll see you in the next one.